Yeah, I can't say that I'm surprised, mainly because I grew up in this country and I kind of understand uh, this country's checkered history, and I understand that uh, the way the system is set up, waste and, 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 and people uh, turning backs on food that could serve other people, it's just kind of the way that the United States has become. It doesn't have to be this, it doesn't have to be this way, but the problem is that we have this problem and we're not very intentional about solving it. Uh, we are treating it as an afterthought. We uh, see the people in food lines and kind of shake our heads sadly and say, tsk, tsk, you know, too bad for them, and then we'll go get uh, a sack of potatoes and let half of them go to waste. Uh, and, but the, I think what, what is happening now in the United States is that it's climbing up the class ladder. No longer is it absolutely uh, poor people, people who've been poor for a long time, who are f experiencing food insecurity, but it's also people in the middle class, people who have lost their jobs because of COVID, uh, people who have been uh, getting a, a living wage, but that's been cut in half. Uh, I think a lot of the problem stems from the fact that we don't really treat poverty intentionally in the United States. And even as it's creeping up the class ladder, more people are being affected by this. We need a national strategy, and so far we don't have and one. A lot of this has really raised awareness of just how important our food system is. Uh, there are parallel efforts that are taking place at the United Nations right now. There's the UN Food System Summit that'll be taking place in just a couple of months. And so there is a, glo a growing global awareness that our food system in, in some ways is broken. I mean, when you have 700 million people going to bed hungry, clearly there's a problem, and that problem has been greatly exacerbated over the last year. Uh, so there are efforts to address it. it. It is complicated, however. By fixing one piece of it, you uh, you could undermine another. The resilience in our food system means having slack so that you have mm -hmm. inventory and other things, but that can lead to higher cost. And so there are often trade-offs between the things you do in order to try to fix the food system. You may make another part of it a little bit less uh, good.